Today, the Florida Senate is poised to take up legislation that could impact your vacation. So it's a bill revamping how short term rentals should be regulated. Things like Airbnbs and VRBOs, et cetera, et cetera. That's going to take center stage. So Renata DiGregorio on your side right now here in our information center with how this could affect a family vacation or a stay in some of the towns around Florida. Hello, Renata. Hey, good morning. So plenty of people feel a certain way about this, but part of what this legislation would do is weaken local government's abilities to regulate their short term vacation rentals. But whether that's a good thing or a bad thing really depends on who you ask. I got to host somebody who's never seen the ocean this year. And Jessica Broyles pictures. owns a short term rental home in Villano Beach and says around half the homes on her street are also vacation Five, rentals. Six or seven. The regulation of short term rentals remains a hot topic in the Sunshine State and Senate Bill 280 would take some of the power away from local governments. Because of this, Jack Corey, who is representing the city of Jacksonville Beach before the state legislature, opposes the legislation. St. Augustine, as you know, was built before the nation. So now to try to put vacation rentals in there, where well, you're going to stack five or 10 cars like you would at a mini hotel, it's just very impractical. But Susan Phillips with the Convention and Visitors Bureau in St. Johns County believes parts of the bill would help local governments, including part that would make changes in advertising that could result in localities receiving more money in bed taxes due to accountability. A lot of that money goes back into infrastructure. It's for beach renourishment. It's for the tourism marketing that we do. So it's a benefit to the folks here in the local community. Back on Broyles Street, she hopes the end result is something everyone can agree on. We just have to work together as a team and come up what's best for everybody. Where does the city of St. Augustine stand on this legislation? We're going to talk about that coming up. Renata DiGregorio, First Coast News, on your side.